today I'm going to be doing the mystery craft challenge with my YouTuber friend Hannah Rupp. Basically the idea is we both get a $10 budget and then we each choose five random craft items and then mail them to each other. The other person has to make something with at least three of the items that they've been sent and in addition they're allowed to use two of their own items along with as much glue, scissors, tape, etc. general crafting stuff as they want. So this is the box of five crafty things that Hannah sent to me. Now I originally unboxed this on camera back in February, which being several months and a totally different hair color ago, isn't going to be particularly continuous with this introduction here. So that's why everything's already been opened in this box, so you won't get to see Hannah's nice wrapping skills. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you all the five craft items that Hannah sent me. So the first thing is these styrofoam eggs that are covered in glitter. The next thing is this tassel keychain thingy, which had this gold backing to it when I originally took it out of the package. Next up is these circle papery cardboard thingies. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but I'm gonna use them. The next thing is these animal pencil toppers, and they have some cute animal faces and flowers on them. And the last item is pegs. So, so many pegs. <laughs> Hannah, this is really hard. What am I supposed to make with these? So let's see what I can come up with. After brainstorming for a long, long, long time, I think that I've come up with something that is actually going to work. So I'm going to use these circle thingies as backing for some earrings. And the earrings are going to have cute photos on them. So I chose some of my very favorite photos of my puppy Ella, and I printed these out onto normal plain paper with my inkjet printer. Then I used these circle thingies as templates to get the images to approximately the right size. I had to cut a little bit more off the edges so that they would fit onto the circle thingies. And then then using a bit of Mod Podge glue, I put glue all over these and then I stuck the photos down onto them. Then I also used the Mod Podge as a glossy top coat, painting a thin layer over the top of the photo. Next, I'm going to make use of these eggs. Now I'm not going to use all of the eggs, I'm just going to use the glitter that covers them. This still totally counts as using the item. So straight after adding that thin layer of Mod Podge, I'm going to rub the glitter off the egg onto the photo like this. After this process, I remembered why I hate using glitter. Oh man, <laughs> there is glitter everywhere. And the glitter covered her house forevermore. I made a few more of these because I had a couple more photos to use. Next, I poked a hole through the back of the photo through the original hole in the circle thingies with a pair of scissors. And then I widened the hole with the end of my paintbrush, giving me this. Last up, I'm going to dismantle a whole bunch of these pegs and I liberated the wire from within them. Luckily, the pegs pulled apart real easily like this. Now I'm going to use this wire to connect the circle thingies to some earring hooks. This is like some MacGyver sh With the wire, I popped it through the hole in these circle thingies. And I was really lucky here because the two fit together perfectly. Then I grabbed myself an earring hook, which is item number two of my own, and I attached it onto the ends of the peg wire like this. I closed up the peg wire like this, and... Ha! I did it! I made a thing! Let's try it out, let's try it out. Yeah! <laughs> I did it. I probably could have made them two-sided, but oh well, cute. Let's go over there and get some professional shots. These actually turned out really cute. I love them. So in the end, I used three items of Hannah's, the pink thingies, the glitter off the eggs, and the metal from the pegs. And I used two things of my own, photos, and earring backings. Guys, that was hard. I honestly, when I opened that package, I did not think I was gonna be able to make anything. I thought I was gonna have to be like, sorry, Hannah, challenge canceled. But like, these are actually really cute. Like, I am going to legitimately wear these. So as hard as it was, thank you, Hannah. I wouldn't have had these without your interesting craft challenge items. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I also sent five items to Hannah and she had to try and do the same thing. Although just saying, 
I think I was a little bit kinder. Hannah, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I'm also curious to know if you were given these five items and had to make something crafty from at least three of them, what would you make? I'm really curious to know what other people come up with. Make sure you go and check out Hannah's video and I will see you all next time. Bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for making these videos possible. To become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.